Well, the advice I give to all writers, whether it's television, motion picture, novels, or anything else, is that you must write every day. And one of the things that, that you come to realize when you're, when you're around a lot of writers is that they love to talk about writing and love having written, but don't really love the process of writing. They find it often very painful. And this isn't bad. I mean, I know some of the best writers I know struggle. Every day they struggle. Um, I don't struggle, and I know why I don't struggle. I don't struggle because I was always the stupidest kid in my class, and the idea that I would ever be brilliant was knocked out on me in the third grade. So I'm not sitting around here trying to be brilliant. I'm trying to be Shakespeare. I'm just trying to get the work I, I have in my head down on the page in the best way I possibly know how, without putting that horrible pressure on myself of saying, you know, and I'm going to write it today, and in 200 years, at Princeton University, they will be studying these words. <laughs> I, can't, I couldn't write like that, and I know that that's why a lot of my friends have trouble getting it on paper. You know, it's that sense that it has to be brilliant. And yeah, I want my stuff to be as good as I can conceivably make it, but I'm not, I am not going to put that on my head. And I, and I really, I think it's a real strong byproduct and plus of being the worst student in my school. Do you have anything in your career thus far that you are particularly proud of? Um, what am I particularly proud of? Well, there are certainly high points. You know, there are places where we got it really right, and and um, you know, and, and and you know, but those are all shared successes. Uh, those are all things where a lot of people came together: writers, directors, producers, actors musicians, all of us together, and, and everybody made it a better project. Rockford was that, Wise Guy was that, Hero was that, Ten Speed was that. And some shows that were not big hits that I thought I did really well, Hat Squad, on CBS for a minute, you know, Profit, a show I had on Fox, you know, where we got it right, we had the right people, and we really wrote good scripts every week. Um, you know, there were, there were some shows I did that didn't do well that I felt that I never got right, and I won't name them because I don't want to embarrass the actors that were involved, because I, I take all those failures as basically being my fault, not theirs. Um, and then, um, you know, the, the uh, you know, so there were a lot of things that I, where we did it, we got it right, you know, where we just commissioned, we got it right. And uh, I thought Renegade, we got it right. I mean, Renegade was never going to win any awards, but boy, was it a fun show, you know? I mean, it's like it's my little contemporary Western. And, um, you know, so, so, yeah, I mean, there was just a lot of, a lot of stuff that, like that, that, you know, that, that, that was, but, but, you know, I have a hard time saying, well, what am I really proud of? Because the thing I'm most proud of is usually the thing I'm writing. I mean, right now I'm finishing a novel. I'm literally just going through the last 20 pages, 30 pages. I was hoping to get it. I mean, I've written it. I'm just polishing and that's my favorite book. It's my favorite thing I've ever done right now. And the book I finished last year was the favorite book. I, you know, it was a, and that's sort of always the way it is. This thing that's in my typewriter. People say to me, what's your favorite thing you've ever written? It's always the thing that's in my typewriter. Because I have to get my energy up for that thing in order to be good at it. I have to, like, believe this is the best thing I'm ever going to write. You know, this is it. And then when I finished it, I may never read it again. And I go on. I don't go back and read my old novels, you know. I mean... I go on, you know, I had the fun of doing it, and, and now you can have it, and you tell me what you think, you know, and I'll just, and I'm going on to the next project. And I'm really kind of always pointed forward, not backward. I don't look in my wake. I don't try and, I spend very little time looking back there and, and trying to appreciate my old hits and Emmys, and I just don't care. You know, I'm only concerned about what I'm going to do next.